Okay, I want to show you the maximum solar input you can get with the Blue Eddy 200 Max and an expansion battery. In this case, it's the, the B300, but whether it's that or the B230, which is a 2000 watt, and this is a 3000 watt expansion battery, it's the same concept. So you can see here we've got nine 250 watt solar panels, and, and that all can be used at the same time charging this really, really fast. We're gonna break it down here to kind of show you how we've maximized this. You don't have to run this many, but with some expansion or some adapters, you can run as many as nine of these, um, which is 20, roughly 2100, I wanna say, um, watts. So the, the, the simple one, which we've already recorded, is just the four, actually it's these four right here all together. Um, the uh, positive negatives are connected behind these, positive negative on each of these, all connected with the outermost positive here being connected to this extension cord and the outermost negative here being ex ex um, connected to the, the negative extension cord. And then those run in and they are plugged into the main frame here, just the main input for the uh, AC 200 max, okay? Still with this battery, with the AC 200 max, you can get two more panels by putting this adapter on it. And the adapter costs uh, just under $200. But you can change the AC power, the wall power into more solar. So that's what we've got going on here. And then these, these run out to these additional two panels. And um, same thing, same type of connection, positive, negative connected here in the outermost, connected another extension cord, their own extension cord to run in there. Okay, so that's the main battery. Now the expansion battery can have the same uh, two options, the main solar charging option, which is right here. And that runs out just as one panel because the, the, the maximum is 200 watts and this is close enough to where you're, you're still okay with the wattage. Okay, that's the main line. And then another adapter hooked into this, which can actually run two because the maximum for it is 500 from the wall power, which we've converted into um, additional solar power. So all of these together um, can charge these units in under three hours. Uh, the, the B300 would take a little bit longer, of course, than the B230. But uh, certainly this unit can be charged within two, probably two and a half hours. And this one we're going to test and see how long that one takes us to charge it up fully. But really, really fast, super efficient. You really wouldn't run out of power during the day. And you could just be using essentially a full load beginning at you know, night when you lose that solar power and use it through the night and then start over the, ne the next day. So here you can see what we're getting right now on the main um, battery, the main generator, just under 900 watts coming in, the normal uh, solar uh, charging method. And then the uh, this is the adapter. It thinks it's wall power, but it's the same thing, uh, just under 500, 425 right now coming in on that. So, you know, we're, we're getting in here 1300 uh, watts. If we push this mi middle button right here, uh, that's good, you can, uh, you can view the battery, and, but um, it doesn't show you how much wattage is coming in, at least not that we've discovered yet, but it does show you the, the charging status of the expansion battery if you do that.